stewardship. Now I want to talk about some things in reference to stewardship. And I give you an outline, something we want to work with, talk about, and look at. So if you will open your Bibles to the book of First Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verses one through two. That's First Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verse one and two. What it says. Let a man so account of us. As of the ministers of Christ. Now pause for a second. Let a man so count. Let a man look at us. Let a man view us as what ministers. What is a minister? One that serves. It's all about serving. As ministers of Christ. Read. And stewards of the mysteries of God. Wow. And steward. What is a steward? A steward is a supervisor. A steward is a manager. A steward is someone that have the ability to oversee matters, especially things pertaining to properties or the matters of others. They are a steward. They are someone that you entrust. They are someone that you place them in their hand, and you know they're going to take care of it. They're going to look after it. They're going to treasure it. They know it's not theirs, but yet and still they're going to handle it with care. Read on. Moreover, mm -hmm. it is required in stewards. So it's required. You ought to tell your own self, it's a requirement. See, it's a requirement. It's required in steward. What? That a man be found faithful. That a man is found faithful. Mm -hmm. That's very important before she finishes reading. It is required in a steward for a person to be faithful. Faithfulness is not hinged upon or, or shall I say viewed at because I done done something. Now, faithfulness is a repetitiveness of you continue to do it without skipping a beat. Amen. That's faithfulness. Faithfulness means you can count on me morning, noon, or night, winter, spring, summer, or fall. It doesn't matter what the conditions are, the situations are. I am faithful. Faithfulness is constant to dedication. When you have those two things working together, then you can see how commitment is brought forth and will give you your heart desire. I am faithful. If in marriage, a woman wants that man to be what? Faithful. Come on. That man should want that woman to be what? Faithful. Faithful means I'm dedicated to it as well as it's dedicated to me. I don't have no outside or hidden agenda. I am faithful to it, which means, as I said earlier, you can count on it. You can know without a shadow of a doubt that it's going to be there. You can know without a shadow of a doubt that it's not going to be wishy-washy, up and down, in and out. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. It is faithful that a steward be found what? Faithful. Somebody say the word faithful. faithful. Now, in this day and hour and time, sometimes it's hard to find people to be faithful because their uh, uh, involvement is only hinged upon certain things. And when that certain thing is gone, then they are gone. When that certain thing is not working no longer, then they are not working. When that certain thing is not present, then they are absent. Because they are not what faithful. They're only faithful because of that certain thing. Read on what it says. For I think that God hath set forth us the apostles last. Hear that word? The apostles last, the one that bleed, uh, the one that hurts, and the one that go through, and the one that, 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 that lead the trail, the one that, that, that teach the word, the one that, by God, that, that give you understanding who God is really, he put them what? Last. Now, some of y'all know good and well, without a shadow of a doubt, or even you giving it a second thought, you know good and well, if you know that you was first, and now you turn around being last, you're going to have an attitude. You know good and well that my God That what you're going through now You are being treated like you are last And you're the builder of this thing You're the creator of this thing You're the maker of this thing You're the founder of this thing Come on, you're the operator of this thing Now they treat you like you're the last You have no idea of your uh, association Or your identification So the words say here The apostle are being set forth as what? Last, last. We're the one that gave our sacrifice. We're the one that's been preaching this word. We're the one that's been standing in the gap for you. We're the one that's been fighting all kinds of circumstances and situations. But now we are treated as we are being what? Last, last. See, this is how it's being challenged when you say you are a steward. See, it's an inward quality that's being demonstrated on the outside. Finish that. Let me show you what I mean. As it were appointed to death, uh -huh. death. for we are made a spectacle you have made a unto spectacle. the world. You have made a spectacle to the world. And See to that? angels. Hear that word? You made a spectacle to the world and to the angel. The angel looking at you and saying, my God, why in the world are they going through all of that? 
How many of you know you didn't gave your all and the all you gave like you ain't gave nothing? This is what the scripture said when it comes to the apostle. The apostle said, I didn't gave everything I know to give. I've been there, I've done that, and I brought back the t-shirt, and now I made a spectacle. Look at you. You've been up with everybody now. You don't have no help. But you done help people out, you done done this, and you've got to be put out your own house. This is what is meant by a steward going through some changes. You are helping everybody. You can't get no help. Everything is turning on you. How many of y'all is going to yet be there? How many of y'all going to yet hold on? How many of y'all going to yet endure? Come on. You're doing everything you know to make the thing work for somebody else. There ain't nothing working for you. Come on. Making sure everybody else is riding. You got a thong. You can't even don't have enough money to get an Uber. Come on. But yet still you've been up for everybody. Doing everything you can. Well, this is what the apostles have been through. So when you talk about you are a steward, then you got to realize my stewardship, i got to be faithful. Faithful. It's not hinged upon, as I said earlier, about what I can get out of it. It's not hinged upon what is available for me, but it's based upon my commitment, my commitment as a steward. And when your commitment is being challenged, then pretty soon you're going to either do one or the other. Either you're going to bail out or you're going to continue on. The apostles saying to themselves, we know we can't bail because Jesus is our everything. He's our A, our Z, our beginning, our end. But yet and still the world and their angels look on us as, as a spectacle. They look at, in other words, they look on us as a fool. You mean tell me you doing all of that? You holding on? You paying money out your own pocket? Pastors get better on test what I'm talking about. Look, so many pastors saying, wait a minute, I don't understand. This is God's house. It ain't my house. But yet and still he got to pay that light bill. It's God's house, not my house, but he got to pay that mortgage. It's God's house, not my house. He got to make sure Come things is working right. and everything is proper. He's been made a spectacle yes, yes. because it's God's house and not his house. His house, he's saying to himself, I can afford to do my lights, my gas, That's my right. water, my insurance, my, whatever, right. my repairs. But yet still, because I love God, so then those things that I have of my own accord, they are put on the back. Up, and because they are put on the back burner, then my love and my dedication for my stewardship say, listen, take care of the church first. Yes. And that's when the world and the church look at you and say, you know but a fool. I made a spectacle. Angels not going through that. You made a spectacle. People don't understand the spectacleness that comes with stewardship. In other words, how many you can handle being embarrassed? How many you can handle feeling down? Why yet encouraging people, yet telling people to hold on, telling people to endure, telling people you can make it and you don't have gas there. Read the word. And your men. Uh-huh. We are fools for Christ's sake. We are fools for Christ's sake. But we are wise in Christ. But we are wise. What make you wise in Christ? You are fool for Christ's sake, but we are wise. Because I'm knowing that when all this is said and done, it's more proper for me to have Jesus than gain the whole world and lose my soul. Silver and gold have I none. What does it profit me to gain all the silver, gain all the gold, and I don't have Jesus? So the apostles, they understand the pastors, the leaders, though they are stewards, the managers, the supervisors, they understand the importance and the imperativeness of being faithful. Read the word. We are weak, but word? ye are strong. See, I'm, I, I become weak so you can be strong. Isn't that something? Now, that's a, that, that's, that falls on the category too. We say like a mother's love. A mother's love will do anything she can for her babies. To try to help out her babies. Look out for her babies. Well, here the scripture said here that we are made weak while you are strong. While you are hold on. No, well, that's the question here before we could dive into a little bit more of this right here. How many of you understand that when a doctor gets sick, who do he go to? He treats patients all day long. When the dentist treats patients all day long, amen, he does the root canal, he does the filling, he does whatever he needs to do. Then the question is what does he do? He do when he needs a dentist. Come on. What does the doctor do? That's a female, and she's a gynecologist, and she can deliver all your children, and now she's pregnant. You see what I'm saying? That's that part of being made weak in order for you to be strong. She wants to see after your child. Be sure your child is doing well. Be sure that you are following all the guidelines to do before you do, before you are considered to have this baby. Make sure you're following all the instructions so you can have a well baby. Come on. So to have that well child, and the question, what about her? What does she do? 
So when she's there for everybody, who's there for her? Come on. When the police protect you, who protects him? <laughs> Come on. When he stopped the criminal from breaking in your house and the, and, and the murderers and the robbers and the, and the rapists for, for attacking you, the question, what does he do for his own self? He's made weak that you may be strong. He's made weak that you may be strong. This would fall from the category of the word called steward, that a person or a man must be faithful. Faithful. Finish reading. But ye, ye are honorable, but we are despised. Now, you got all the gifts. You got all the ribbons. You got all the certificates. You got all the pats on the back. But he's despised. He's a fool. He's crazy. That man lost his mind. That man had gone crazy. That man, you receive rejection when everybody's received recognition. Oh. Isn't that something? My Lord. Come on. You receive a kick and everybody's receive a pat on the back. I'm talking about the stewards. See? The stewards receive a kick. But to those they minister to, to those that they oversee, they try to make sure things work, they receive pats on the back. Oh, you did such a wonderful job. You did such a great thing. Oh, we just love you. We just honor you. We're going to have a special day for you. And that's another thing. Look at it now, y'all. Show me in the Bible where it says past the anniversary. <laughs> See what I'm saying? He get kicked. There ain't no way in the Bible where it says past the anniversary. So then you're going to fight the issue about the past the anniversary, but yet still you want a birthday. That's right. Isn't that something? You want a day of honor. You want a day of recognition. You want a day of praise and honor and whatever. You want all these things working for you, but yet still you're going to fight that person who is deserved. Yeah, they do. That's why he said that you made a spectacle. When you are strong, they are weak. When you are honored, they are dishonored. They are dishonored. They are dishonored. Finish reading. Even unto this present hour, mm -hmm. we both hunger. He said, even this present hour. He said, right now, we ain't had nothing to eat. At first. Hold on. See, right now, he said, we ain't had nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got two for two. Oh. Y'all don't talk to me. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. You know every discount. Know every special. Come on. You got coupons. You got everything you know to operate and survive off of. Yeah. Yesterday, he said, we hungry right now. We ain't had nothing to eat. Oh. Come on, you, you got your son a coupon in your purse right now. I wish I had a talking charge. Come on, you got your son a coupon right now. He said we ain't had nothing to eat. We ain't had a thing to eat. Come on. You heard, you, 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 you buy this meal, you get the fries free. You know everything. Come on, you up on everything. You got all the deals. You know everything what to do. Come on. He said at this very moment, we are hungry. We don't have no food, but we want to make sure that you are eating. We want to make sure that you are surviving. This is what stewardship is all about, that a man be found faithful. So when you say you want to be over the choir, when you say you want to be over the praise team, when you say you want to be over this auxiliary or this group or this unit, remind yourself of this right here. A steward must be faithful, faithful, faithful. What is the requirement of my stewardship? Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Not because somebody come, not because somebody do, not because somebody help you out, not because somebody pat you on the back, but you understand faithfulness. When nobody show up, you still got to be. When nobody do, you still got to hang in there. Come on. You still got to be prepared. Still got to be ready because you are called a steward. A steward is faithful. Faithful. Finish reading what it says. And thirst. And, and uh, are naked. You know, we're, we don't have the proper clothing. We are thirsty and don't have the proper clothing. Now, who's going to really go through all of that unless you accept the responsibility to be a steward? That's right. Child, don't take all of that. Y'all just stupid. Y'all just dumb. Y'all just crazy. I ain't going to be doing all that. Well, then you're not required or you're not in the mindset to become a steward. You're not qualified to be a steward. You don't, you, you don't fit the test of being a steward. You're not a good fit to be a steward. Sometimes we see the glitter and the glamour and all the other things that are looking good, but we don't understand the work that come behind it. Come on. In this hour, day, and time, I know we're in a super microwave day. It's an instant meal you can make. But if you go right back into great, great grandmama day, when she really had to really peel the potatoes and shuffle the peas, wish I had a talking church here. Uh, when she really had to wash the corn and do all these kind of things, that meal was made. You made the meals back then. Yes, Come on. Now you have minute rice. Isn't that something? Yes, rice in a minute. 
Mm. Back then, they made the meal, Lady Brown. They made the meal. They really put the meal together. They put the macaroni and the cheese together. Mm. But it didn't come in a box. Come on, y'all. Ain't saying that. Well, you got to do boiling it. You took the stuff and sprinkle it over it. Come on, call it mac and cheese. No, you had to make that macaroni and make that cheese in that mouth. Woo! Isn't that something? So in other words, what you're saying, man of God, is a steward must be faithful. A whole lot of people see, oh, I want to be a preacher. I want to be a preacher. I want to be a first lady. I want to be a bishop. I want to be all what you want to be, but still, do you qualify in being so? How is my being so? What's my qualification? Steward must be what? Faithful. 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 God don't call you on Monday then change his mind on Tuesday. No, he don't. <laughs> Come on, I say God don't call you on Monday Then change his mind on Tuesday Come on If you believe God called you to it Then he's the same God that'll take you through it yes. May I say it again If you believe God called you to it He's the same God that'll take you through it He'll take you through your storm Take you through your rain Take you through whatever you are experiencing See a lot of times mm, Lord, I better leave this thing alone A lot of times when people come They arrive to something that's already there but they don't understand what did it take to get it there. Woo. Come on. Take this building for an example. We come, we already there. Oh, child, I sat on the plush pew. I took my shoes off and felt the plush carpet. It was nice and cool in here. Let's back this thing up. What did you do when you go back to the day with nothing here but a piece of land? Uh. <laughs> and the ground had to be dug. The cement had to be pulled. The, uh, the, the, the building had to be erected. The boards had to be nailed. How many people bust their finger on that hammer when he was trying to drive that nail? How many people stepped on the nail and, 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 and cut themselves on the saw? How many people that, that, that touched the wire and didn't realize that the power was on and electricity went through them? How many people reached out for the glass and the glass shattered and cut their hands? My God. It took all of that to build this house, to put this house together. And that's what we don't see. It's called behind the scenes. It's like looking at a movie. Oh, man, I enjoyed Black Panther. It's a billion-dollar movie. Man, Black Panther had this, Black Panther had that, and y'all went, what? You know what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. You enjoyed Black Panther. Yes, we did. Come on. But what does it take to put Black Panther together? The attitude that came with it. I wish I had a talking church. Right. You think everybody came to work all happy and excited, hugging and kissing one another and throwing your hand across your chest and it was high five and low five and five on the black hand side. No! There was some morning some folk woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Some folk that didn't even get in the bed. Huh. Things were all haywire. They, they was they all confused. They, they were all chaotic. But yet and still, they had to act the role out and do what they had yes, to do. They did. In order to pull it off, to make the film to be what it is. Come on. So a lot of times you don't understand that. That you don't understand that behind the cast there are the characters who receive the recognition. Such as the person makes sure the lights is on. Such as the person makes sure the machine that you're going to use is operable. The horse that you're going to ride on, he is available. He's been fed. He's been groomed. And with the outfit you're going to put on, it fits just right. So in other words, there's people behind the scenes that, that don't get the clap and then the pat on the back. They are the ones that make the movie to be what it is. But yet still you are called the movie star because you're the face that's being seen. Come on. Take away all the props. Take away all of the actors in the background. Take away all of the stunt people and all these kind of people. And tell me, what would you have? You would have a Black Panther. And that's the one that run out on the ground that growls and act like he's supposed to act. He's a real panther. But he's not the actor that you know of. That's why it's called actors. Because they are what? Acting. It's not real. And without the people supporting them, the people backing them up, then you won't be able to sit back and say, oh, I enjoyed my popcorn, and I enjoyed my candy, and whatever I did, I got the best seat, I reclined back with my hot dog, and I said, I really enjoyed that movie. But the question is, could you be one of those cats? Could you be one of those people that can hang in there to make sure that the film is great? That's right. The sweat. See? The people behind the scene can't get there at the same time the actors get there. The actors only gonna do their skit and do their part and it's over with. But you got people that gotta set the set up. What about those people that gotta set it up? Pull it up, pull it down, pick it in, and bring it out and put it back up and tie it back down. Those people are the people who not receive the recognition and the pat on the back. They are considered to be 
faithful. What you said, man of God, before I call the quiz, all that I'm saying to you is once you have started a test, once you've begun to be that test, great or small, do it well or don't do it at all. Keep your mind focused. Keep yourself encouraged. It don't nobody pat you on the back. It don't nobody say you're doing a good job. It don't nobody say all is well. It don't nobody tell you I love what you do. It don't nobody slip some money in your hand. It don't nobody say what can I do for you. You got to know for yourself if I'm being made a spectacle. You got to know for yourself if I am being overlooked. You got to know for yourself without a shadow of a doubt that I am a steward. I am faithful. I am dedicated. I am committed. I'm not a quitter. I don't throw in the towel. I don't take my tail and run. No, I know what I'm called to and I'm there. You can count on me, preacher. You can count on me, pastor. I'm not so easy to encourage. I'm discouraged. Or I'm not so easy with my feelings getting hurt. I don't just run behind everything. I'm not fearful. Oh, God. This is what it meant when I say the word steward. When you finish up there, please, I got to go. I got five minutes to do this thing. And are buffeted. Oh, you'll get it work. Mess. And what? And being buffeted. 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 You mean to tell me I got to get beat while I'm doing my job? Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Why I got to get beat while I'm doing my job? A whole lot of us don't understand. When it comes to this thing called church, you're going to take some beating. Mm -hmm. I said, you're going to take some beating. And don't act like you ain't used to beating because some of y'all have been married for 17 years or more. And I don't know how many times you put cold compress on your ass. <laughs> Watch out now, y'all. I said, now how many times you put a cold compress on your eye? You ought to be tired of telling that lie that you just into that door. That door by now ought to be tore up by now. All the heat is on your head. That door ought to be tore up by now. I wish I had a talking touch. Wow! So don't tell me you don't understand what buffing the need to be. If that ain't good enough, well, let's go date it back when mama told you to sit yourself down. Down, huh? and you didn't sit down. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And mama put the call the stitching cord on you. Huh? I'm not talking about the stitching cord because the stitching cord designed to cut lights on. The stitching cord designed to make the fan run. Huh? But a stitching cord is a cut between the sheet and the pillow huh? to get down to that skin of yours huh? to make you know and understand that I'm mama. Huh? Not only mama, but I'm daddy too. Huh? If I say sit down, boy, you sit down. Huh? I don't take no bag lip. I don't take no eye rolling. I don't know what's happening in 2018, but we're living in an eye rolling day. We're living in a talk back day. Wish I had a talk to church. We're living in a day that the children want to explain themselves. We're living in a day and time that this is my room, and you are violating my space. Well, I have good news for you. Welcome to 1956. That's the year I was born. Y'all come up to where we are right now. Mama didn't play that. Daddy didn't take that. But mama said what she had to say. It was backed up with a back slap. It was backed up with a ball fist. Wish I had a talking judge. It was backed up. And mama meant business. You ain't gonna walk and stomp your feet. Going through the house. Trying to show her attitude. Trying to let mama or daddy know. No, that you are mad and upset. So what? You are mad. You better wipe your face. You better sit yourself down. You better shut your mouth. You better get out of my face. Wow, you got a chance. It ain't gonna take it. 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 Get bulldog. You put out get the rap shot up under you. You put out get punched in the stomach. Wow! Oh right. It's 2018 crowd. Woo. What we gonna do with them? Help Lord. I said, I don't know what we gonna do with them. Oh Finish reading that. I gotta go three minutes. And have no certain dwelling place. And have no certain dwelling place. I only have a place called home here and there. Verse 12. And labor working with our own hands. And labor working with our own hands. Being reviled. Read, read. We bless. Being persecuted. We suffer it. Are y'all hearing all this right here? We take it. We take it. Somebody say, we take it. We take it. Come on, say, we take it. We go through all these changes. We take it. Being be, 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 uh, 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 vile. The vile or revile. What is it? Being what about the word vile? Reviled. Being reviled. 
be picked on, chewed on, talked about, made a spectacle. That is a good word, ridicule. Read on. Being defamed. Being defamed. We entreat. He don't diss me. Don't nobody talk about me like. <laughs> come on, where these folks come from in 2018? You know? Come on. I said, where they come from? They, 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 they diss me. My respect. What respect? Huh? It's about my respect. Huh? The apostles say we went through all of this. So you can shout, so you can dance, so you can have a good time. So you can say, take the law along with you. Where you go, take the law along with you. You gon' need it, you gon' need it. You gon' need it, you gon' need it. Read. We are made as the filth of the world. Now wait a minute, we are made as what? The filth. We are made as the filth. The filth. The filth. The filth. We are walked on, talked about, ridiculed, ostracized. The apostle said we took all this right here. Now we got folks in the church can't take nothing. The urchin said, I want everybody to sit on the left side. I ain't going back to that church no more. They too controlling. <laughs> Don't even know why they actually sit on the left side. Come on. You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. They too controlling over there, child. Can't take nothing. All we got something to complain about. All we got a rock in your jaw. All we got something, an issue to deal with. Read on. We are the offscoring of all things unto this day. That should be the last part of it. Beloved, in my conclusion, in light of this scripture, how do you view stewardship? How do you view it? When you say, I want to be over something, Management of something pertaining to the thing called Christ or church, my involvement. What are you really asking for? Not saying that you're going to experience all those things the apostle done because the weight of the matter is greater, but expect some of those things to be encountered. So, in light of this scripture, how do you view your management, your supervisory, your overseeing? as a steward remind you that a steward must be found faithful give my crap thank you sir